The ill-advised decision resulted in the loss of eight Leopard 2A4 tanks. What's up my beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. I am here again back to the channel with another military informative video. It seems like there is no ending between Russia and Ukrainian war. This war been going on between these two neighboring countries for over two years now. Guys, I just hope and pray this war can just come to an end to save some life. I'm going to check out this video that military tv put together shout out to military tv make sure you go by their youtube channel and subscribe to them and check out some more of their amazing military video they have on their youtube page and the title of the video said oh the leopard 2 tank was defeated in the russian ukrainian war guys whatever you see or heard in this video it have nothing to do with me it's all about what military tv Put together let's check out this video and see what it's all about let's go Woo -wee! the russia ukraine war has been marked by intense battles and strategic maneuvers showcasing the capabilities and vulnerabilities of various military assets among the arsenal of Ukraine's armed forces stood the formidable Leopard 2 tank, renowned as one of the world's most advanced and powerful armored vehicles. However, as the conflict unfolded, the Leopard 2 faced unforeseen challenges and suffered significant defeats at the hands of Russian forces. Join us yeah. as we delve into the story stuff. behind the surprising defeats of the Leopard 2 tank and examines the factors that led to its vulnerability in the face of Russian military tactics and weaponry. Let's hear about it. The Russian Ministry of Defense has declared a successful defense against a large-scale attack launched by Ukrainian forces in multiple areas of the Donetsk and Zaporozhye regions. The Ukrainian armed formations and military units suffered significant wow. losses. In response to heavy casualties, the Kiev regime reorganized the remnants of the 23rd and 31st mechanized brigades into separate combined units, which continued their offensive operations near Novodorovka and Levadnoye. On July 3rd, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu announced that Russian forces have successfully destroyed in total 16 German-made Leopard tanks, encompassing the entire supply Whoa. provided to Kiev by Poland and Portugal. Damn. That's a big the destruction loss. occurred in the, the southern field. direction of Donetsk, Zaporizhia, where Ukrainian forces had launched unsuccessful attacks. Alongside the tanks, 15 aircraft, 3 helicopters, and 920 armored vehicles were also eliminated by Russian forces. Damn, for real? While this German-made tank was seen as a potential game-changer in the Ukrainian conflict, the recent devastating defeat has left Western nations questioning the effectiveness of their employment of the Leopard 2. The burning question reverberates among military strategists. What weapon unleashed devastation upon the mighty Leopard 2? One thing I know for sure about these reports depends, depends who you get your reported from, your report from, you, you always hear a different story. If you watch some other report, that report on the, on the Russian-Ukrainian war, one report would said the Ukrainian destroy the Russian tanks, and another report would said the Russian destroy the Ukrainian tank that they get from the Western world. So we don't even know what to believe. But watching this video, they show in the, these image of those tanks destroyed guys you see you see those building all those building destroy crazy why why the why do why these two why this two neighboring country have to destroy each other like that it's just so heartbreaking and so crazy look at the destruction as you see those building in this video it's gonna take billions of dollars and years upon years when the war stop to build back these to build back these infrastructure so away from life lost 
a lot of property destroy a lot of building destroy it's gonna take a lot of time and money to build back ukraine because trust me the russians they really they really destroy a lot of those buildings in ukraine and and the sad and the sad part of it you know guys the ukrainians they, 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 you know, for two years straight, they are under attack by the Russians. For what reason? I really don't know. But in Russia, everyone is going about their everyday life, living their life as normal as possible. While people in Ukraine have to go under bombarding, bomb, gun, building, bombing, and all destruction. Sleepless night, restless night, after leave your house after it's just crazy. So if you look at this war between Russia and Ukraine, it's a one sided war because it's the only people that the only person that dying from Russia is this is those military, those soldiers, but no civilians not dying. But a lot of civilians I heard die in the Ukrainian. So it's just crazy. Wow. I just hope this war could just come to an end like today. Today, today. Let's save some more life. Let's save these infrastructure, these buildings that they're destroying. Because it's crazy. But it is what it is. Let's continue. Watch this video. Station upon the mighty Leopard 2. Rostec, a Russian company, has unveiled the successful use of advanced missiles by Russian forces to incapacitate the Ukrainian Leopard tanks. Alongside Cornet missiles, the Russian military has deployed Vikr and Ataka missiles, launching relentless and devastating attacks that have left the Ukrainian Leopard tanks defenseless. Rostec asserts that the yeah. German-made Leopard 2, once the pride of the Ukrainian arsenal, pales in comparison to the formidable Russian Cornet, Vikr, and Ataka missiles. The Cornet missile system, particularly, has played a crucial role as a tank destroyer in the intense battles of Ukraine. Russian forces have effectively employed Cornet missiles, disabling not only Leopard 2 tanks, but also British Challenger and American Abrams tanks. This missile system stands as a key factor in breaching the defenses of these formidable armored vehicles, showcasing the strength and efficacy of Russian military capabilities. Another potent missile in Russia's arsenal is the Vikr missile, also known as the 9K-121 Vikr. Designed specifically for air launch from attack helicopters, the Vikr missile utilizes a highly accurate laser-guided system. It boasts an impressive range of up to 7.5 miles and speeds of approximately 1,969 feet per second, equivalent to around 1.8 Mach, carrying a tandem high-explosive anti-tank or heat warhead weighing 18 to 27 pounds. The Vikr missile amplifies its destructive potential. Additionally, the Russian Ataka missile has proven effective in neutralizing German Leopard tanks. Launched from airborne platforms like the Mi-28NM and K-52 helicopters, the Ataka missile poses a significant threat with a speed of 1,804 feet per second, roughly 1.5 Mach. Equipped with a 16-pound tandem heat warhead, the Ataka missile delivers substantial destructive power, slightly less than that of the Vikr missile. Not only the missiles, Lancet drone has also turned out to be the key player behind the successful destruction of Ukrainian Leopard 2 tanks. But the burning question remains, what is the secret power of Russian drones that renders Ukrainian tanks vulnerable? During Ukraine's counteroffensive, the Russian military unleashed... Before they speak about these Russian drones, I call Joan Mosquito. 
you ever try to get rid of a mosquito before I just cannot get rid of the mosquito it just keep ringing in your, it just keep messing in your ears messing in your ears you try to hard you try so hard to kill that mosquito right you just cannot kill that mosquito Joan Joan the, the, those things they bring a different element to military that use them because trust me they can fly low on the radar and they cause a lot of problem and guess what it's not like said anyone is flying them they are flying by themselves those drones are a machine that loaded loaded with explosion and all those things so it can fly under radar it can sneak up on you it quiet it silence it's just a game changer to, to military that use drone because drone they are very hard to detect and guess what they cause a lot of damage well let's continue watch and see what this what what this damage done with this drone that the russians they're gonna talk about now counteroffensive the Russian military unleashed the Lancet drone as a formidable weapon, proving the vulnerability of the highly regarded Lancet Leopard drone. 2. The drone's devastating attack, captured in captivating footage released by the Russian Ministry of Defense, targeted a Leopard 2 near the village of Orokov in Zaporozhye. Damn. Remarkably, the so target attack was not an outdated version, but a state-of-the-art Leopard 2A6 model. Armed with the powerful Rheinmetall 120mm L55 smoothbore gun, it was believed to possess superior armor protection. This serves as proof that the main battle tank, often hailed as a Wunderwaffe by the media, is not as invincible as believed. Depends where you get your new Despite strength. its advanced armor, the tank succumbed to the lightweight Isdelia 52 variant of the Lancet drone, armed with a one kilogram explosive payload. The Lancet attack meticulously targeted the tank's vulnerable side, an area of lesser armored fortification. Such tactics represent a recent evolution in modern warfare, exposing potential weaknesses. While the creators of the Leopard 2 appeared ill-prepared to confront this specific threat, the Lancet operators demonstrated exceptional skill and knowledge by pinpointing the tank's Achilles heel. Equipped with GLONASS-based navigation systems, the Lancet drone effectively detected, tracked, and destroyed its targets using laser-guided precision. The destruction of the Leopard 2 by the Lancet drone was one among many successful operations by the Russian military, which also targeted American-made Bradley vehicles. These incidents highlight the significant impact of the conflict Bradley? and the effectiveness of Russian military capabilities. The battle in Zaporozhye has brought immense shame to the West and Ukraine, despite their possession of powerful Leopard 2 and Bradley tanks. The Ukrainian armed forces' reckless deployment of these heavy armored vehicles as blunt instruments to penetrate Russian positions shocked analysts. Reports revealed that a group of Leopard 2 tanks landed in a minefield, resulting in a devastating fire a clear indication of the Ukrainian military's desperation to deploy elite forces on the front lines. Furthermore, experts issued a warning about underestimating the adversary, given Ukraine's significantly below-par military capabilities. In addition, the Leopard 2 faces limitations due to its weight ranging from 55 to 65 tons, surpassing the capacity of most Ukrainian bridges. This severely hampers its mobility, making it predictable and exposing its attack directions. Additionally, the tank shares a common vulnerability with other modern tanks, its relatively thin side, roof, and rear armor, making it susceptible to anti-tank weapons used by the Russians. Mm -hmm. 
In the Russo-Ukraine conflict, tanks that break down near the front lines become prime targets for enemy drones and artillery, leaving little time for repairs. While both Russian and Ukrainian tanks experience this vulnerability, the Leopard 2's renowned reliability makes it an especially costly loss when subjected to artillery attacks. However, a critical weakness arises from Ukrainian commanders' temptation to deploy the tanks without accompanying infantry in close terrain. The Turkish army's encounter in Syria in 2016 serves as a cautionary tale where the ill-advised decision resulted in the loss of eight Leopard 2A4 tanks in a single battle. This highlights the dangers of exposing tanks without proper infantry support. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for this video. Guys, as I said before, this, what you see or heard in this video, it have nothing to do with me. It's all about what military TV put together and reported on. But let me ask you a question. You believe that the Russians really destroyed those Leopard 2 tank? Do you believe that? Or you believe is a fabricated news? Let me know down in the comment section. I would love to know what you think or what you know. And let me know all about what you know or what you think. What I think, I will just keep it to myself. But guys, remember this. Show love to your neighbor the same way you want to expect your neighbor to show you love. Let peace reign. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day.